Hello everyone, welcome to the Tuesday edition of Take 5. Hope you're having a great day today so far. This week on Take 5, we are breaking down the message that I preached this past Easter Sunday. That message was entitled, Resurrection Reckoning. In Romans chapter 6, verse number 11, Paul says, Likewise, you also reckon yourself dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God in Jesus Christ our Lord. That's where we are taking the title from, that word reckon, where he said, Reckon yourselves dead unto sin and alive unto God. Now, it's very important that we understand what the word reckon means right there. It is the act or the process of determining an answer by accounting all the figures, the details, and the facts. Now, that's very important because I believe that there are many Christians that are struggling with sin and struggling with things that sin has introduced into this world. They're struggling with those things and they should not be doing that because the power of the resurrection made it possible for us to be free from that. The reason is I believe we have not reckoned uh, the power of the resurrection against these things. We've not entered in the figures and the facts and the details of the resurrection into what that actually means to you and me as believers in Christ. I really believe the reason Christians are struggling with sin and its addictions and bondages is because we've not reckoned the power of the resurrection into our lives. I believe the reason so many live uh, in constant anxiety and fear and depression and low esteem and so many other emotional prisons is because they've not reckoned the resurrection into their circumstances. And I think it's so essential. So there are really three things that I want us to cover this week. We're going to talk about the, this power of the resurrection when we reckon it properly, how it brings about freedom from sin, freedom from Satan, and freedom from what we call the sealed tomb. Today I want to talk to you and tomorrow about freedom from the power of sin. Now, Jesus' resurrection was not just a foreshadowing of the future resurrection of the dead, like some say. His resurrection was a promise of power now for the people of God. Power right now while we're living in this life. Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ, so it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live. Did you catch that right now? The life I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So I'm living my life now in the power of a risen Christ. Do, do you understand? Death is the most powerful force other than God that has ever exerted itself over mankind. And Jesus, our King, our Lord, our Prince of Peace, he overwhelmed death when he rose again and he made it possible for us to live in that power even now. The power that was made available to us through the resurrection is not just a future hope, it is a present hope. It gives us hope right now. We have hope in this life because of the resurrection. We have power now over sin because of the resurrection. We have freedom now because of the resurrection. The life we live now is blessed because of the resurrection. Now this past Friday, we call it Good Friday, we commemorated the sufferings and the crucifixion of Jesus and as gruesome and cruel as his death was, it was necessary because he was our substitute. He gave his life in place of ours. He took our sin and shame and he gave us his righteousness and, and he took our sin to the cross and died in our place. Death was required by the law dating all the way back to Moses and Jesus paid that requirement with his own precious blood. And so that's why we rejoice in the cross because the penalty for our sin was, was paid there. In dying, Jesus paid the penalty, but in rising, he broke the power of sin. Now here's the, here's the reason. If he died, he paid the penalty, but it appeared that death or sin still won rather because he was still dead. You know, the Bible said in Romans chapter 6, 23, that the wages of sin is death. It's the, that's the culmination of sin. It always ends in death. And so even though his death, he paid the penalty for our sin, it appeared as though sin still won because he was still dead. And so that's why the resurrection is so important to the Christian faith. 
In his death, he pays the penalty. But in his resurrection, he broke the power of sin. Let me quote the rest of Romans 6.23 to you. It says the wages of sin is death, but it says the gift of God is eternal life. And so the, the power of the resurrection gives us life. So right now in this life, sin's price has been paid. And right now in this life, sin's power has been broken over our lives. We're not just saved from sin, my friend. We are free from the power of sin that wants to control our life. Jesus' resurrection frees us from the power of sin right now. Well, hey, we're going to talk about this some more tomorrow and read a little more scripture there from Romans chapter 6. But until then, I hope you have a great, great, great day. I, I trust that you will go forward today now and strive to live in the power of that resurrection. Have a resurrection reckoning right now and reckon the power of the resurrection against all of the things that you deal with in this life. Hey, I hope you have a great day. I look forward to seeing you right here tomorrow on the Wednesday edition of Take 5. Until then, God bless you.